Good morning! Well, good morning for me, I don't know when you're watching this. Uh, hello, welcome to vlog, welcome to the Bali series. Um, I am just been packing up my bag, it is the morning that I'm going today and I'm so excited. Um, however, I've naturally, when I, I did my packing video, I was like super confident, I was like yeah I've got everything, but naturally I ended up packing more things that I deem obviously necessary. Basically just like, well, number one, I forgot pants and socks, but they don't take up much space. I can't even, I'm not even sure. I've ended up packing more basically, and um, it all fits in here, which is good. Um, but it's like, you know, you've got like dead space, but you don't know how to fill it, but because of the way it's packed, it's like difficult to zip up. Anyway, that's what I'm dealing with, so that's fine. And I'm packing like an extra carry-on bag because I'm so stressed about the Heathrow Airport situation at the moment. It's just really busy there and like delays and then also um, baggage problems at the moment. Like loads of people are missing their bags and things and I just hate to arrive in Bali without my backpack. So I'm taking like a change of clothes and like some pants and socks and things like that. I should probably take a bikini as well maybe. Um, just so at least I can like jump in the pool when I get there. But yes, so I am basically currently packing. I'm going to get some fresh air and then in the car and I will be at the airport. Yay! I have made it to the other side, air side of Eager Airport and it's so quiet. I can't believe it's a Saturday in July. Um, I don't know if Terminal 4 is always like this but um, oh my gosh, land side, like checking in it was so quiet I mean granted when we um, went to drop our bags off the queue started to form but the um, the nice lady on on the uh, Saudi uh, check-in point was like oh just by yourself oh you can come this way and yeah like skip the queue which is really nice um, going through the security it was the queue wasn't massive but it was really slow um, just the belt seemed to be slow but I'm here and it's smooth, and it's good. And I was excited, and my nerves were settled. And I was feeling really like, um, just a bit like, I think it's like excited and nervous all at the same time, and it was all just kind of like bubbling up here, but it's like dissipated now. Is that a word? Yeah. It's feeling calm and good. Yes. Stage one complete. <laughs> good morning. So sadly, I'm talking to you still from London. I, um, had a horrendous day yesterday. I've never felt so upset and anxious and angry that the flight got cancelled. Um, we were given this number to ring to try and expedite the rebooking process. And after 10 minutes, every single time I tried ringing, it just would cut out. Um, so, and then everyone that I, well, the, I made like a little friendship group, which was, which was nice. Um, everyone experiencing the same angst as me. Um, but yeah, essentially the, everyone else in the group was also experiencing the same problem. I tried ringing the travel agency that I booked my flight through and I was like 101 in the queue or something. And I just thought, no, nope, not dealing with that. So, um, to try, I was trying to speak to the person, um, like the representative there um, at the Heathrow Airport and he was so good, he was really patient and you could tell he really wanted to give as much information to everyone as possible but like he, he, he couldn't, well at least I'm only by myself, like if there was a family that would be really challenging but anyway eventually we were able to get through and get to our bag so we um, went downstairs, um, I think I got my bag around half seven, um, something like that, and um, yeah, the, the, to the bags just took ages to get through, I don't know why, um, still wasn't able to get through to anyone at Saudi, um, but yeah, I got my bag, went up to the um, sort of check-in area in Terminal 4, found the ticket desk for Saudi, and luckily at that stage I was only, I was second in the queue so I was able to speak to somebody and the next flight they were able to put me on to get to Kuala Lumpur isn't until tonight at 10 to 8 p.m and it's not direct it's um but it's with Emirates um which should be good Emirates is a good airline so I'm feeling positive about this 
Um, the universe didn't want me to go to Bali uh, yet, so um, yeah, so I've got a new flight, um, means I get to Bali essentially 24 hours later, so I'll be getting on the Asia flight that goes from Kuala Lumpur on Tuesday morning rather than Monday morning. Um, it's not the end of the world, but obviously I was really upset yesterday and and also, oh my gosh, yeah, that was the other bit. I wasn't able to book a hotel, so British Airways had cancelled something like 60 flights yesterday, maybe 80, it was loads, loads of flights. So they put everybody into the hotels around Heathrow. So I was trying to, I was trying to book a hotel on booking.com and it was saying the rooms were full, no room at the inn. Um, and there were a couple available on there, but they were um, all sort of like bed and breakfast type places. And I wanted to stay somewhere with some facilities because because I was um, not gonna be leaving the hotel until much later. I thought, well, if I can go somewhere with like a gym or a pool or something, I can um, kind of entertain myself a bit better because if I was gonna stay at a nearby hotel to Heathrow, it's not like there's very much to do right by Heathrow. But anyway, so I managed to book a room at the St. Christopher's, let me, um, the... My plan for today is, I think I'm gonna get up in a bit, go to the gym, I guess, kill some more time, although I don't really want to think of it as like killing time, I'm in Windsor, I've never been to Windsor, I could go see the castle if I wanted to, but I'm also just like, I want to just go, I want to be in Bali. I had quite a big cry yesterday on the phone to my fiance, I just, it is what it is, the universe has other plans for me, I do need to find something to eat though, I did barely had anything to eat yesterday, anyway this is going on and on and on, so yes, not an ideal situation, but I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna make the best of it. <laughs> showered I am pretty well all packed I've got a couple of bits that I still need to put away um, I just charged my phone and the plug got really hot so that's cooling down um, yes yeah, so I'm going to drop my stuff off well like my main bag with um, the hotel reception and then I think I'm gonna go and explore Windsor <laughs> Windsor is lovely, driving around the town, I've not really thought about going in any particular direction, just sort of going where um, interests me, um, went into like an arcade which was really cute, and then I was trying to decide what I wanted to do for lunch, there were quite a few cafes and restaurants around but it was so beautiful outside and I thought it might be nice to go and sit um, in a park by the river or something, so I have just picked up a Waitrose picnic. I got this Moju Raspberry Lemon and Baobab prebiotic like drink thing. Um, and then I also got a another like ginger shot because because of travelling and stuff, I just feel like it'll be worth. Um, I thought it was worth to, like getting some um, vitamin heavy drinks. <laughs> so I've got those. Um, yeah, and it looks like a band is about to set up in the bandstand which is lovely so yeah I think that the, yeah this has not been awful <laughs> um, this cancellation but yes yeah, so I've got um, about two hours until I want to yeah yeah two hours because it's quarter to two, two now and I wanted to be at the airport around half four so I need to leave around quarter to four so yeah two hours well, about two hours until I need to start thinking about heading back towards the hotel and picking up my things and getting a taxi and stuff so um, yeah, I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good, which is, um, yeah, I feel like it'd be so easy to just feel really resentful about the fact I'm in Windsor, but it's really nice and like the atmosphere is really lovely and the sun's shining, so happy days. <laughs> this is really impressive. I don't know if I'm going to go inside because I'm not sure how much time I have. Well, I know how much time I have. I don't know how long it'll take to properly explore because it goes back really far that way. And 
it goes that way quite far as well. Um, but it's such a beautiful castle. I can't believe I've not been here before in the town as well. Definitely when I come to London next, I'll be spending some more time in Windsor. It's really cute. I just saw a really funny bus thing just go past. I'll put it here somewhere. Um, um, having looked at the map, I actually I hadn't realised that Eton College and Eton is like next to Windsor, so it's just the other side of the river where I was earlier. So as I don't have time to do the castle, but I still have about an hour until I want to start thinking about taxis and getting to Heathrow, I'm going to go and walk down there, see what there is to see. being on this plane later um, so yeah, I'm just like I feel like the more I think about the fact that I'm not on the flight I'm like that it was on yesterday it's making me sad but as I said earlier I'm trying not to sort of resent the fact that I'm in Windsor and Eton and be grateful for it I'd rather be here than like on a a dodgy plane. Um, I think actually if you were to come to Windsor you probably wouldn't need longer than a day and if I had planned my time better I probably would have been able to go to the Winter Castle, like explore the lake properly, like, explore the river properly and eat it. And, um, I mean I say plan my time properly, I did not plan to be here um, but if you were to come to Windsor and like plan it into a trip or just to be aware of if you were ever stranded <laughs> by your airline like I was. <laughs> Stop being like, you know, I need to be positive, I need to be positive. So, little update. I am sat by the gate, um, gate five for my flight to Dubai. Um, I'm, I'd like to say all ran smoothly, but um, the I got here at like, or past four my flight is at 10 to 8 so um, really early um, and it took an hour and a half to get through check-in and then it took another like maybe 45 minutes to get through security so very glad I um, got here really early so if you're flying from Heathrow give yourself more time than you think I've literally, so basically literally just got through security, it's now, um, I spoke, well I spoke to my brother for a bit, um, so I probably got through security like 20 minutes ago, um, it's now 20 to 7 and the flight is going to be boarding soon, so I've barely had time to do anything, I had quite a big lunch so I'm glad I did that and I've got like a couple of snacks in my bag, um, but yeah, so that was so <laughs> that was chaotic. It wasn't chaotic. It was well. Luckily, I made like a friend uh, in, in the queue called Jessica. So um, the that made the time go a lot faster because we were just chatting and sharing stories and things, which was nice. Um, yeah, making loads of friends on this trip already, which is lovely. Um, but yeah, so looking forward to finally being on the plane, which is there. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if I plane. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, oh, better. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so about to get on the plane. Exciting! Hopefully, I will be in Kuala Lumpur before I know it. Good morning! Oh, what's happening with the camera? Let's just recenter that. Hello! <laughs> um, I am. Um, I've had a, an okay ish night's sleep. Somebody tried to get into my pod at like two o'clock in the morning, so I uh, woke up from that and then I felt like a bit anxious that somebody was gonna do it again. So I um, didn't have like the most peaceful night's sleep, but I did sleep, so that was good. Um, I would recommend the pods because they were super easy and it meant that I could get up at like eight o'clock this morning and like cruise up into the check-in and things, but I, um, the check-in was a little bit confusing. Like there were these massive queues and I was like, I just literally need to get my bag tag and drop my bag off because I checked in online and then somebody was sending me in a different direction for like the Indonesia queue but the Indonesia queue was really long and I was like I need to go <laughs> and so I used this, the kiosk and then I just kind of went winged it and managed to scan my bag somewhere and drop it off so a little bit confusing but I think I'm okay I think things are running smoothly I want a quick mention on my flights flights were fine um they were a little bit delayed like both ends by like 
half an hour or something, but they made up for it in the air pretty much. So, um, and um, oh my god, actually, no, you know what? The worst bit of the whole experience yesterday was the queues for passport when I got into Kuala Lumpur. Oh my gosh, I was queuing for two hours. I could have been queuing for longer, but I managed to find a queue that nobody seemed to be in. Um, so that shortened it a bit. Yeah, it was two hours still with the fact I found a short queue that nobody was in. Um, so I'm so glad that I kind of cheated the system a little bit.